You know, I was going through all of my videos, and I noticed I never did a review for Fedora. So, I'm going to do one right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, episode one of the Federama. You know, I was going through my uh, playlists and all my videos and everything, and I came to the instant realization that I've never done a review on Fedora. And I wanted to open the doors up a little bit in case anybody has any questions they need to see me install something in Fedora. So I thought I'd better make a virtual machine for this. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm running this now in fallback mode, and I'm going to go ahead and do an installation of Fedora. All right, first, uh, let's see if they have this in here for uh, easy grasping. I'm looking to see if they have uh, the install icon. And uh, I'll find it here. Looks pretty well loaded. It's got a number of applications here which is pretty nice. Now this is an RPM based distribution and um, a lot of things that happen in Fedora eventually ends up being ported to Red Hat in their Enterprise Edition. And so this is a, a lot of people swear by this one. If you want a good distribution that is uh, fairly stable and um, relatively easy to use, uh, Fedora is a very good way to go. And the thing is you have the backing of Red Hat you know, and Red Hat's been a, been around for quite a long time. So this should be uh, interesting here. Uh, I haven't spent enough time with the RPM-based distros, but the thing is, you know, I am a sponge and I'm just sucking up as much knowledge of Linux as I possibly can. So uh, it is definitely of interest to me to uh, assimilate all of these technologies and make good use of them. Okay, now we have the uh, Fedora installer. This looks a little bit different, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, proceed through this. It looks like this uh, is fairly straightforward and easy. Uh, we got basic storage device or specialized storage device. Since I'm running this in the virtual machine, probably the basic storage devices will be fine. Okay, and then it's going to go ahead and examine the storage devices and uh, allow us to proceed uh, with the install. Okay, and uh, yep, let's discard any data on this. And we will let this proceed. I've got my cup of coffee, and I am good to go. Okay, uh, please name the computer. <laughs> that one will be fine. You'll probably want to name it to whatever you want to call it. Local host at local domain is perfectly fine for this. Okay, and uh, it's already detected my correct time zone. Very good. And the system clock uses UTC. Very nice. Okay, next. Okay, and then we will create a root password. Yeah, use it anyway. All right, and um, we're gonna tell it to use all space. And we should be good to go. I just hope I'm not writing over my Windows disk. I thought I made a specific disk for this one. <laughs> I think it did at least. Oh, happy, happy, joy, joy. I'm gonna pause the video. All right, now the installation is proceeding 
and it hasn't popped up with any other questions, but if it does, I'll be sure to alert you of that. All right, now we have some post-install action going on. All right, after dying of old age, I think the installation is finished, and now it's going to ask us to reboot. Okay, now that we've got this installed, we've got to add some more information. So let's give it some information. We'll press forward here. And okay. Um, okay, that time looks correct. All right. We can also add myself to the administrators group. Whoops. They really don't need to see a virtual machine hardware profile. I'm sure they get a number of those. Okay, and now it's booting for the first time. <sighs> I wonder if it's going to be really nice. All right, I've just logged in. I'm waiting for everything to load up here. And then to make this usable, we're going to have to install guest editions. So let me go ahead and close this out. We will install those additions now. And I'll be back once this finishes. Alright, so now I have a nice base system to work with uh, for Fedora. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll have a little bit of fun with this. Alright, first I'll just hit Activities here. You'll see that you get Firefox with this. You get Evolution, Rhythmbox, Shotwell, and your File Manager. Okay, and then um, this obviously is using regular GNOME, so no special effects or anything like that. In Applications, we get, this is a listing of everything that this comes with. Uh, Avatar Archive Manager, Audio CD Extractor, Authentication, Automatic Bug Reporting, Backup, for zero, calculator, character map, cheese, contacts. Desktop sharing, dictionary, disk usage, analyzer, disk utility. You get the events document viewer, probably my favorite one out there. Okay, you get a keyboard tool, empathy, evolution. Okay, your file manager, which is Nautilus, Firefox, a firewall, free cell solitaire, get it, text editor, Another one of my favorites, Help, Tango, Image Viewer, Input Method Selector, Messaging and Voice over IP, Minds, yeah, my favorite game out of the whole bunch, Movie Player, Network Connections, Orca, Password and Keys, Power Statistics, Printing, Release Notes, Remote Desktop Viewer, Rhythm Box, Screenshot, Search for Files, uh, you get a, a troubleshooter here, Shotwell, Simple Scan, Software Settings, Software Updates, Sudoku, uh, another, uh, this one's Swellfoop, System 
configuration and date, system monitor, system settings, terminal, transmission for all of you SOPA lovers out there who are downloading legal content. Okay, and then of course users and groups. So pretty much uh, that's everything that it includes with this. This uh, doesn't have a whole lot, but then again, the uh, image was not that large. So, um, so all in all, a nice assortment of software. But the thing is, I can add more to this as time progresses. All right, and the thing is, you know, the uh, GNOME shell is growing on me a little bit, but not something I would really care to use um, as my uh, desktop at this time. All right, well, pretty much that's all I have on Fedora right now, but if there's something you want to see in Fedora, just let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do to uh, fill your request for you. All right, if you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video up to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Any questions you might have, please send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions, and if I don't know the answer, and in all likelihood that may be the case, I'll at least try and point you in the right direction. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.